Oh wait, I guess I can uh, I guess I can tell a story real quick before we get started. Um, I had someone call my store earlier this week and not only threaten to uh, shoot another person that was working at the store, but also threatened to blow up my store. <laughs> so that was fun. That was exciting. Yeah, uh, phones going off like crazy and we're responsible for answering the phone. I'm like, oh, you know, thanks for calling. How can I help you? And this lady just starts going off about this crazy story. And you could tell that it was a prank call, right? 100% you could tell it was a prank call. So long story short, this lady calls and she says that her son drank a Red Bull from our store and then went outside and got hit by a bus and that it was our fault and that we were going to pay. And she asked if I was the one she just, I was the man she just got done talking to on the phone. I'm like, ma'am, I have no idea what you're talking about. I, like this is the first phone call I picked up this night. And she's like, well, put that motherfucker back on. <laughs> I want to talk to his bitch ass. I want to know why when I tell someone that my son gets hit by a bus yesterday, he says womp womp. <laughs> and I was trying, I was trying not to laugh because it was like at first I took it very, I took it seriously, right? But like as she started telling me more and more details and more and more about the story, I, I started to crack. And I could tell that she was starting to crack, but I was taking it very seriously. I was like, man, I have no idea who just said that, but I'll be honest, I, I think that person just left. You know, just making making some excuse, right? Because honestly, my other coworkers get to deal with prank calls way more often than I do. I just, I really wanted to stretch it out as long as possible. I was like, ma'am, I, I have no idea. I think that, I think that guy just left. And if you're wanting to, you can talk to the morning manager at this and that time. Um, and I'm sure they'll be able to help you. And she's like, no, I'm gonna, uh, she's like, no, I gotta take my anger out on someone. I'm gonna go up there and shoot that motherfucker. And I'm gonna shoot you too. Um, I'm like, okay, well, I think he just left. So there's no one here to shoot, right? Like there's, there's nobody here other than just people doing their jobs, you know? So don't, um, uh, like, I don't, I don't know what, what we could be doing about that. <laughs> Frick, what did she say? She's like, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta take my anger out on somebody. So I'm gonna take my anger out on you. I was like, okay, well, oh God, Ronnie just hit the keyboard. She's like, I'm gonna go up there with a bomb and blow it up. You seem cool. So I'm giving you a heads up. I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna hang up now. And I hope you have a good night. And she didn't really say anything, 